Hey, how's it going? This is Rob from Justin's Toys, and I just received a package from Amazon. And in this box is upside down a praying mantis gift set, and this is by Insect Lore. All right, so I wonder what that means. It has a little label right here that says live insects open immediately so let's not waste any time and let's open it all right so inside you'll see it's praying mantis gift set see dozens of tiny mantises hatch from your egg right, right here we have little instructions What's nature doing here? Explore the incredible world of insects up close with these family favorites. Live butterfly, oh, these are other products. Not interested. I've seen them all already. Now, this isn't live insects. <laughs> they gave some props, making the insects, you know, stop. Anyway, yeah, there's little plastic insects, so you're actually getting some toys to go along with this. Then this right here. Not too sure what this is. This is another plant. And here, it's time to hatch. Welcome to the fascinating life cycle of the praying mantis. Praying mantis egg case. Quick job. Let's read it real quick. Provide a habitat for your mantids. Okay, so I guess this is the egg case right here. Let me just zoom in so all of you can see. Ooh, egg case. I mean, I'm looking at it really close and I can't tell whether or not it's alive or it's dead. We'll have to wait and find out. So, going forward, your egg case, or Utheka, I don't know if I pronounced that right, will arrive in a clear plastic cup. You must transfer your egg case to a clean, ventilated habitat that will allow you to clearly see the birth of your young mantids. Here's what to do. Make sure your habitat is safe and escape proof. Newly hatched mantises, called nymphs, are very tiny, the size of small mosquitoes. If you have purchased the praying mantis gift set, a habitat is provided for you. And this is the habitat. Yay! Let's open it up. Alright, if you have purchased a single praying mantis egg case, consider Insect Lore's pop-up porta bug available at insectlore.com, which makes an ideal praying mantis habitat. Two, transfer your egg case. Oh, so that's what this is. This is where the egg case goes, inside these three leaves to emulate what happens in the natural habitat. So hold on, let's set this up first. Ooh, boing. All right, that's a close up. So I'm just gonna zoom out. Oh, the head case kind of like, kind of moved. All right, so right here, we have the habitat, and then we have the egg case here. So it says, your Utheka, and it's probably going to drive somebody nuts, has been dormant during the cold winter months and will need a few weeks of warmth in order to hatch. A few weeks, I don't know what that means, but we'll see. Here's what to do. Suspend the egg case in the 
attaching plant egg case holder and place in the habitat. So there is a zipper. Yes. We can zip that open. And maintain the egg case at room temperature. Your tiny nymphs should hatch within three to ten weeks. Three to ten weeks. Alright, it is now April, so hopefully by May or June these will hatch. Provide humidity by misting the enclosure. Do not mist the egg case directly. Very lightly with water once a week. Dehydration is one of the main reasons the egg case will fail. Okay, so I take the egg case. I don't really want to touch it because I don't want praying mantises growing on my finger. So let me just hold on. Let me just zoom in. So everybody at home can see how I set up my egg case. So here. Alright. Very carefully. Slide this egg case. Oh! There you go. I got my egg case set up. And it says, do not expose your egg case to sunlight or drafts. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna put that into the enclosure. So let's move this over. Put this in the praying at this pagoda. Alright. So, right in the center. And let's continue to read. Three, see your nymphs emerge. That's going to take three to ten weeks. Your patience will be greatly rewarded when your nymphs finally emerge. Suddenly, dozens of hatchlings will wiggle out of the case. Here's what to do. Do not disturb the habitat while the nymphs are emerging from the egg case. If the egg case fails or rolls out or rolls, the nymphs can be injured. Alright, so it has to be in a place that does not have any impacts or falls or rolls. Okay, do not touch the hatchlings while they are emerging. They are very fragile. Alright. I really don't want to touch that anyway. And then, release most of your nymphs. Praying mantises are predators and may eat their weaker siblings if they do not have enough food. For this reason, it is the best to release most of your hatchlings after they emerge from the Uthika. Oh, so I gotta let most of them go. Within two days of emergence, gently release all but three or four nymphs into your garden. Ooh, so I could just get a bunch of these nets and just share this project with a bunch of friends. How many, did it say how many hatch? It says all but three or four. Can it just say like, Dozens of tiny mantises. So we'll get dozens of tiny mantises. Okay. Uh, keep the remaining nymphs in your habitat to feed and observe. Decorate the habitat with sticks and foliage for your nymphs to perch upon. Be prepared to care for your nymphs on a daily basis. Okay. Feed your mantises. Provide your praying mantises with live insects only. Here's what to do. Feed your nymphs two to three soft-bodied insects like 
aphids or fruit flies every three days, okay? I'm gonna go to the bodega and get like a rotten banana. And that is my food for my mantises. Be sure to feed your mantises consistently or they may develop an interest in eating each other. Gross. Especially as they grow larger. Yeah, I heard that the males get eaten by the females after mating. I would not want to be a praying mantis. Provide humidity for your mantises by very lightly misting the habitat with water once a week. They said that already. As your mantises grow from nymphs to juveniles and then to adults, you can feed them larger insects like beetles and crickets. Alright. Six, set your mantises free. Enjoy feeding and observing your praying mantises, but keep in mind they do live for three to six months. That's it. Here's what to do. Insect Lore recommends that you release your praying mantises outdoor when they develop wings. Wings? These things fly? Wow. Try to release your mantises near plants infested with aphids or other garden pests. Your praying mantises may decide to take up residence in your garden, so be sure to watch out for them. Visit insectlore.com to order more egg cases. Oh, FAQ's new hatching plant case holder. Wow, that's a case holder. FAQ, how long will it take my praying mantises to hatch? Be patient, three to 10 weeks. They said that already. What is a nymph? A nymph is another name for young mantis. What should I do after the egg case hatches? Take the praying mantis habitat outdoor and release all but three of them. This is all redundant. Weave the mesh net that enclosed can they know? Mantis's long legs prevent them from escaping. That's good to know that they can't escape. How do I release my young mantises? I don't think that is a very smart question. Why should I release my young mantises soon after they hatch? Because they are cannibals. Are praying mantises predators? Yes, they eat anything that moves that's smaller than them. Should I provide food for my baby mantis? Yes, because it's going to eat its friends if you don't. What should I feed my praying mantis? Flies, eight bits, or anything small enough? Uh, how often should I feed them? Every two to three days. Should I provide water? No. They get the moisture from the insects they feed on. But then you still have to miss the, the cage. Do they fly? They're poor flyers and walk very slowly. When do the female praying mantises lay their eggs? They lay them in the fall and they attach them to leaves and twigs. All right, so that's all the FAQs. I don't know what this is for. I'm assuming to decorate our little cage to emulate what they have in the wild. So in the wild, there is the leaf, and underneath is the praying mantises that hide. And then there is the big giant mantis that looks at all the smaller mantises and says, if I was hungry, I would eat you. And then, I don't know what this is. This looks like, what is that? Cauliflower. This also looks like E.T.'s brain. This is supposed to be the egg case. So you can practice with this, putting it on your three-prong egg case holder. All right, so I'll do another video later on once I see the little mantises hatching. Hopefully I catch it in the act. And I'm gonna remember not to disturb them and just observe them. This is Rob from Justin's Toys, and this is the Praying Mantis gift set on Amazon. You could click the link in the description to purchase the same thing. Bye!